Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by National Honor Society members Gabby Davis, Izzy Griffith, Myra Roki, and Brady Travers. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, I'm Morgan Peters. Hi, and I'm Leila Zalhart, and this is West Side Daily with your morning announcements. The weather for today will be a high of 79 and a low of 54, and it will be sunny. Next Tuesday night is open house from 6 to 8 p.m., so bring your families into school to see your new classroom, meet your new teachers, and give them a tour of West Side. The homecoming dance for 8th to 12th graders will be held September 21st from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the cafeteria. It costs $10 to get in. If you want to bring a guest from a different school, please see Mr. Harrington by September 18th. Picture day is Monday, September 23rd. Schoolwide vision testing is Friday, September 27th. Today is National Bald is Beautiful Day. Now to McKaylee and Paige with special news. Thanks, Layla. Tomorrow is Rutland City and hosting their third annual Whoopie Pie Festival. It is an all-day get-together that starts at 12 p.m. and ends at 5 p.m. There will be games, face painting, caricature artists, music, a soap car derby race, dancing, and activities for kids and adults. This event is held downtown Rutland on Center Street in Merchants Row, right across from Walmart. Dream Makers Bakery in Killington is attempting to break the Guinness World Record for largest whoopie pie. Last year, they made a pie that was 770 pounds. To beat the record, they will need this year's pie to be over 1,100 pounds. The unveiling of World's Largest Whoopie Pie will be at 4.15. Make sure you check it out and get a slice. Now to our teacher interview. Hi, I'm here with Mr. O, our high school history teacher. How many years have you been teaching at West Rutland? Hi, so I think my first year was 2012, so I think this is the start of my 12th year at the school here. What's your favorite class to teach? Um, and I really, I, you know, I, I like things about all of them, but... Um, over, I'd have to say my favorite class is U.S. history to teach, and but they're all challenging, and um, I really like working on all of them and trying to make them better every year. What is your favorite thing to do outside of school? You know, a lot of times I find that I just like to have downtime, quiet time to maybe do some reading. Or I like to sometimes just doing some housework and yard work is very relaxing and therapeutic. Uh, watching uh, sports and following teams that I like. So um, probably my favorite thing. All right. Do you have any pets? I have uh, three dogs, a mini, a medium, and a large. And I have a cat at home to charge. And then we kind of have this cat that is our neighbor's cat from across the street who has been like kind of living in our house just because our neighbor's cat doesn't get along the, this cat doesn't get along with the other cat who's kind of a bully and so we kind of have like one and a half cats too so do you have any hobbies you would like to share uh yes so i do you know a lot of like hiking and outdoor stuff and i'm in the rutland rocks curling club uh which we're going to be starting up again in early November and we're always looking for new members so if anybody wants to come out and learn curling and join our club and play and uh, in the last few summers I've also been learning um, sailing and how to sail and just bought a new uh, beater sailboat um, to work on and practice a little bit with. That's awesome. Thanks for speaking with us Mr. O. That's it for special news. Now to Jordan with sports. Thanks, Paige. The Varsity Boys win their game against Long Trail on Wednesday, 2-0. It was our first shutout of the season. Solomon Jossi and Braden Shutt both had goals, but the whole team was a big part of this win. Braden's goal came off a good pass from Peter Gray and was the last seconds of the first half. Solomon's goal was the outside, outside of the box and off a reflection from the goalie. He volleyed it in out of the air and had great power and placement in the bottom left corner of the net. The middle school teams have their first games of the season tonight. The girls and boys 6, 7, 8 grade teams play Arlington at 4.30, the Bustlers at 3. The 4th and 5th graders also have a game tonight against Lake Valley. The Bustlers at 3.45 and the game starts at 5. The varsity girls play Mill River on Saturday at Mill River. 
The game starts at 10 a.m. and the bus leaves at 9. That's it for sports. Now back to Layla and Morgan. On this day in 1990, the popular TV show Law, Law and Order debuted on NBC Television Network and became one of the longest-running primetime dramas in the United States. The lunch for today will be a chicken Philly cheese sandwich with roasted potato wedges. Now for the joke of the day. Why don't bald people use keys? Why? Because they don't have any locks. We have two birthdays over the weekend. Happy early birthday to Mallory Pitrish in third grade and Andrew Shalosky in 10th grade. Thanks for watching. As Mr. Slanker would say, have, have a, a great, great day, day of learning. learning. Now, that was your line. <laughs>